All right, today is the big day. We are going to open up Photoshop for the first time. So I've just installed Photoshop. I'm going to double click the icon to open it up. Now I have this vast alien landscape in front of me. We need only to concern ourselves with three areas. We have the menus up top from file to help. To the left, we have the toolbar. This has our selection and zoom and crop and text tools and such. And on the right, we have all of the palettes, like the layers and channels and paths and, and the like. So for this lesson, we're just going to focus on simply opening up a, an image, add a little bit of text, and then we'll save it. So I need to go up to File. And it's under File that you can see is where we can create a new document, open an existing document. I can browse, which will send us to Bridge, which we'll get into later on. And right now it's currently grayed out because we have nothing open, but we can save it as well. So I want to choose Open, which will bring up the Open dialog, which will allow you to navigate to where your image is on your hard drive. Select your image and then click open. Now you'll notice we have this image that's kind of open in its own window that you can move around inside this workspace here. And if you don't have these rulers to the top and left, click view and then rulers right here. By clicking that you can either hide or reveal them. And I'll position this to how I want it. Down here at the bottom, bottom right, you can kind of drag it out, make this window a little larger. So the only thing I want to do right now is we're just going to look at the text tool right now. So the text tool is represented by this little T here. So click that. Then up at the top, you'll see that we have Times New Roman is the current font. And I could change that. Then we have the font style such as regular, italic, and bold, and such. The point size, the justification, whether it's going to be left justified center or right justified, and then right here is the color. So, I want this to be black. I'll select impact. It'll be the text. I'll select 30 points for the size. And then anywhere in here that I click, I will now get this cursor, this blinking cursor that's ready for me to enter some text. When you're done with a text, simply click this check here and it will commit. And as you can see, with the text tool selected, it's I, I have this sort of strange box like this eye cursor. And if I move it over the text, the little box goes away, suggesting that I can select or put my cursor anywhere inside this line of text. If I move it to the right or anywhere off the line of text, you can see it sort of turns into this arrow with the little, it's basically the move icon, or the move symbol. And when that happens, you could kind of click and drag anywhere to move the text. So for now, this is all I want to do. I just have this text, click the check to commit it, and I want to save it. By default, it's going to save, or it's going to default to the PSD format, rather. Because if you look right down here at the bottom in our Layers palette, which we'll customize and move later on, I have two layers. I have the background layer here, which is my image, and then the text layer, which it automatically added as soon as we added some text. So when we save this, it, by default, it's going to recommend that we save this as a PSD, which is a Photoshop document. Now, that's good, that's what we want, because that will save this document in layers. And then eventually we can open up you know, the PSD later on 
and we can edit the text or edit the graphic. That's the benefit of the saving in layers. So that's all we're going to do for now. So let me go up to File and go down to Save. This brings up the Save box. Choose the folder that you want it saved in. I'm going to give this a name. And then underneath that is Format. And PSD is currently highlighted. But if it's not, you can click on the down arrow. That's usually the first one here. Click Save. This dialog might or might not pop up. And this basically means maximize compatibility. That's just making this image more compatible with older versions of Photoshop. Click OK. And now we have saved our first PSD that contains a little bit of text. And we'll look at this further in the next few lessons.